In this video, I'll show you how to prepare a sample for the Rigaco. This is Bracpentano geometry or parallel gene geometry, and we have different depth of samples. This shiny one has a silicon surface, and the silicon has virtually no background. So this uh, is a zero background holder. The idea is now you should choose a sample holder where the depth is so deep that you actually don't hit the aluminum below. In cases where you have very little sample, you can go for the silicon sample holder. The problem with the silicon, if you can't, if you're actually probing into the silicon, you don't have a constant volume throughout the measurement. And this can actually make refinement of the data collected with the sample holder difficult. I have lanthanum hexaboride, a heavy, heavy absorb, absorbing sample. So I can use a sample holder with a relatively low depth. So I'll choose this one. So the first thing I do is I take a spatula and move some sample to the cavity. Once I am certain that I have approximately enough sample here, I'll take my glass slide and try to divide the sample onto the surface of the sample holder. So I'm doing this by using the edge of the sample holder and tapping the surface to spread it out over the entire surface of the sample holder. So if you're using Bracpentano geometry, you have divergent beam and it's very important that the sample is entirely flat. So in this case, it looks like I need to put a little more sample in order to fill the cavity. So I'll do that just in a second. I'll just make sure that what I have is quite a well spread out onto the sample surface. So I'll add a little more of my sample. And then the same fashion. The reason for actually stamping it this way is to spread it evenly and also to avoid preferential orientation. So some crystal systems grows needles or platelets. And if you have these systems, it can be easy to actually make a preferential alignment if you're just pressing the sample into the sample holder. So this is what I'll do in the final step of my preparation. I'll use the glass slide to make a very smooth surface. So now my sample starts to be quite well dispersed on the sample holder here. And then the last step, I will lie the sample holder flat to the surface and then really make it flat and aligned with the surface. So you place it face down and then you press and then you can slide off this glass slide and you end up with a very, very homogeneously prepared surface. So this should be really very flat, which is exactly what you want in a Bracpentano diffraction experiment.